Gastrocnemius muscle length testing. Patient starts in anatomical position while facing a stable plinth. Patient places non-test leg in front of the test leg and places hands on the plinth. Toes are pointed forward and the leg being tested is kept in full extension at the knee while the non-tested leg is slightly flexed at the knee. Patient then moves hips anteriorly, maintaining an upright position while keeping the whole plantar surface of both feet on the ground. Patient continues to lean forward until the gastrocnemius is fully stretched and prevents further dorsiflexion. Goniometer will then be placed with axis over lateral malleolus, stationary arm in line with the fifth metatarsal, and moving arm in line with the fibular head. Gastrocnemius length is based on normal range of motion for dorsiflexion, which is 0 to 20 degrees. A length of less than 20 degrees may indicate decreased muscle length. Soleus muscle length testing. Patient starts in anatomical position while facing a stable plinth. Patient places the non-test leg in front of the test leg and places hands on the plinth. Toes are pointed forward and both legs are slightly flexed at the knee to eliminate the gastrocnemius. Patient then moves hips anteriorly, maintaining an upright position while keeping the whole plantar surface of both feet on the ground. Patient continues to lean forward until soleus is fully stretched and prevents further dorsiflexion. Goniometer will then be placed with axis over lateral malleolus, stationary arm in line with the fifth metatarsal, and moving arm in line with the fibular head. So is major muscle length testing. Have patients start in prone position on plinth. The therapist will passively flex the patient's knee and stabilize with the other hand at the ischial tuberosity on the same side to block pelvic motion. Therapist lifts affected leg at the knee, lengthening so as major to maximum length. Distance should be measured from proximal knee to table. A distance of six inches indicates a normal psoas length. A distance of less than six inches indicates a shortened psoas muscle length. 